Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 4.6.5, Connecting a Wired and Wireless LAN. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Introduction to Networks CCNA Version 7 Cisco Network and Academy curriculum. So in this lab assignment, I've got our directions pulled up over here to the left and I've got our topology pulled up over here to the right. So you'll notice many devices, everything from desktop computers to switches to routers to even cloud infrastructures, a cable modem, a wireless router, a networked home printer. You'll notice these little lines here, I mean, it's connected via Wi-Fi in Packet Tracer. So we don't have to know what all these uh, devices are and how to configure them yet, but we do wanna explore connecting them through cables or any type of medium. So that could be uh, wireless with radio waves, that could be ethernet cables with coax cables, with, um, you know, ethernet has the shielded twisted pair versus the regular, you've got, um, or the unshielded twisted pair, uh, STP and UTP, you've got fiber optic cables, so the list goes on and on. Now the cable selection does matter with what ports you have on your devices. So we get used to that some in this lab. So the first one we are going to uh, click we're gonna get used to this connections this orange lightning bolt symbol here and it tells us to uh, click the orange lightning bolt icon to open the available connections choose the correct cable for router 0 f00 to cloud ETH 6 so f00 are usually fast Ethernet ports and that is usually an Ethernet cable. So the ETH6 is also so an Ethernet cable. So um, if we try to connect it, so let's say a copper straight through from router zeros F00 to the cloud ETH6 or Ethernet 6. All right, and you notice we got 12% there. All right, and it says cloud is a type of switch, so use a copper straight through. All right, and you'll see it turn green there. All right, the next one, we are going to connect the correct type of cable from cloud coax 7 to modem port 0. So from down here, we have a coax cable, which is this uh, kind of royal blue one, and we are connecting the cloud coax 7 to the uh, modem port 0, so cable modem port 0. Okay. The next one, we are going to choose the correct cable for router 0, serial 0, 0, 0 to router 1, serial 0, 0. Now, the serial connections are usually from router to router, all right? So we are going to click this first one, which is a serial DCE. We'll talk about the serial DCE and serial DTE in future chapters, but let's just click the serial DCE one for now. And we're going to connect the router 0, S000 to router 1, S00. So the next one we're going to connect is the router zero to the Netacat PKA server. So from router zero to here. Now routers and PCs or servers actually have the same pin output. So that means you're going to need the reverse of signal. Now in today's time, most routers and switches are smart enough to reverse the signal anyway. So usually different devices get copper straight through. So like router to switch, switch to PC, but PCs and routers actually use similar pin or the same pin output. So you're going to need to do a copper crossover so it'll cross the wires over from end to end. So we're going to do that from router zeros F01 to fast ethernet zero though. So make sure you use a copper crossover cable from the router to the server because the server is like a PC. Um, then we're going to connect router zeros console cable to the terminal. So remember the console cable is right here, this light blue one from the um, console port to the RS-232 port. That allows us, that's not an internet connection, remember that's just a connection to configure some stuff. All right, next we are going to connect the remaining devices. So router F10, switch F01. So a router to a switch is most likely a copper straight through unless there's something uh, special going on. So router F01. Oh, sorry, router F10. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that little output does not look like that. This is what a regular Ethernet cable. That is actually fiber. Okay, you see those little two nodules there at the end? That is a fiber connection. So we need to go to the fiber, which is this orange one here, and connect it from router one. Or, yeah, router one's F10 to the switch down here. F01. If you try to connect the other one, it's going to tell you it's wrong because and it's not going to work. So um, Packet Tracer does have that kind of fail safe option there. 
Uh, then we're going to connect the cable modem port one to the wireless router. All right, so let's see what type of cable. That's probably just a regular straight through. So the cable modem port one to the wireless router internet port. So again, you don't need a coax cable going out of the modem. You usually get that coming into the modem. Okay. Um, and then it says connect the wireless router Ethernet one to the family PC. So remember, a wireless router also has ports on it like a switch. So those are actually acting like a switch. So from Ethernet one and we use a copper straight through here, Ethernet one to the family PC's fast Ethernet port. Oh. Uh, there we go. I don't know, I might have just not clicked it correctly. All right, then the next thing to do is test connectivity from device to device. So you can go here and do your ping commands and everything. You're at 100%. Um, but again, you can go to each device and go to like the desktop command prompt and you can ping some of the IP addresses up here to make sure you've got connectivity. But again, you see we're at 100%. So that just really covers some of the connectivity as far as the cabling and what type of cables are available and what type of cables are used. Because remember, the devices, ports, and the uh, help dictate what cables to use.